one of the things that we've been working on is try to figure out how we actually can introduce endovascular procedures into a surgical robotic procedure. And this was uh, testing up in a cadaver lab where we brought in the Siemens Sciotic Move, and itself is actually a robot with some of the most unique uh, wheels that I've ever seen. It allows very precise movements. Uh, you'll notice it doesn't even have someone pushing it. So it certainly fits our narrative as we're interested in robotics. Uh, you can splay out the intuitive surgical arms, maintaining their focus, create a gap by which the C-arm can actually come into. Now, you're certainly not going to be able to pan from the, you know, from the top of the head to the tip of the toes. You're going to have to have a focused area. But this would potentially allow us to access vessels exposed by the robot and really creates what we think is a whole new opportunity. You actually see the angiogram which had been shot with this in position. The nice thing about this is it has GPS location so that once you've actually set it manually once, you can tell it to go park itself in the corner it will come back to it exactly the same position and angulation. So this is kind of our first foray in introducing endovascular into the field of robotics.